Good evening, good evening. Welcome again to the Mingles of Evil and Light. Thank you for joining me. And tonight we're speaking about our real anatomy. We're going to be learning about our real and true anatomy. Our main chakra system, right? And uh, you may ask yourself, why? Why is it so important that we learn about our main chakra system and, and why does she emphasize so much on this, right? And truly, I tell you that I'm always speaking here about energy and how the universe was made in energy first and that we have a broken that order when we've addressed all life and our bodies in the incorrect order because we attended it, we uh, addressed it in the inverse way that it was made because we were not made physiologically first and then the energy later, right? Uh, or biologically. This is not the correct order to do things and to understand that in order for us to obtain the total wellness, well-being that we are so much wanting to receive out of life and our health, right? Body, health. Well, it's needed that we learn and that we go keep repeating what we've done wrong for so long, okay? It is the time that we need to learn, relearn how truly our bodies function, our real anatomy, and don't keep ignoring this. And so that we can keep on teaching those, our, our children and our children's children, right? So that those cycles of suffering, of, of diseases, and suffering can be broken once and for all. So we want to receive benefits in our life if we want to live balanced lives in wellness, because we don't have to age. We don't have to age and get sick, get Ill, Ill, right? Like we tend to think that it is one thing goes with another and it is not true. We have to change we can, we can age without being sick. We can age with living productive lives and we don't have to die from sickness. So we need to learn. It is imperative that we learn how we truly are constructed and how does this body truly work. And that's why. Okay, so our our, uh, we were made in energy first and our energy, our body, our energetical body has the main chakra system. And chakra is a Sanskrit word meaning wheels, wheels. They are seven light color energy centers that are constantly spinning, emitting energy throughout our body. These wheels also take energy from the outside world or environment because we are embedded in energy. So it's a constant exchange of energy in and out. And they distribute it into the blood. And I say, Vanessa Vega says that it's through the plasma of the blood to our seven main glands. And then those main glands have organs that they control. So they pass it on to the organs, right? And then the organs to the nervous system or and, and nervous centers of the body. So they regulate and overrule the seven main glands of the physical body. The pineal gland, the pituitary, the thyroid, the adrenals, 
the uh, ovaries, the testes, and the um, suprarenal glands, okay? So, the first chakra that we are speaking today is our root chakra, muladhara, okay? And it has to do with keeping ourselves grounded. It is the center of security. It is our foundation and the feeling of being connected to the earth, grounded. It also is our survival center. The primal energy of survival is fight and flight or freeze response, as we may know, and is initiated from this chakra energy. It is the most instinctual of all chakras. It is also the one that has to do with our primal relationships. And uh, by this I mean mother, father, or primal caretakers, okay? So, the location, the location is in the base of the spine, in the terminal area, right there in the coccyx, right? Uh, the chakras run parallel, parallel to our spinal cord. So, what associated body areas to this chakra, okay? It is the suprarenal glands, the, the one that is in charge. And then we have the perineum, the first three vertebrae, the pelvic plexus, the colon, the large intestine, the teeth, our teeth, our denture, right? A leg and knees, our feet, our hips, our kidneys, our skeleton and bones, our muscles, and arterial blood that flows through the left chamber or ventricle of the heart, which is the one that carries oxygen and nutrients to our body tissue, okay? And the characteristics of this particular chakra is a center of security, support, and physicality. Not only our physicality, our body, but our physical aspects in our life. Like for example, all the material, right? The material stuff like uh, money, food, and survival things. That without money, we cannot survive. So money, food, because if we don't eat, we cannot survive, right? Uh, housing or having, having a place where to stay, right? Uh, sleep because without sleep we we cannot <laughs> we cannot live if we don't rest okay so it overrules all that color represented for the root chakra is the red red and the element is earth the element of earth so what emotional problems can affect the root chakra. So, survival problems such as money or food. So, when we have a lot, we see people that have a lot of pro economic problems or financial problems in their life. This is the, shuk, the root chakra. And obviously, a root chakra is one that is always, at least from the people that I see here and I feel here, all of them. Uh, uh, are affected we all are okay this chakra is always affected it, it, it's, it is very important chakra so uh, money and food like imbalances in this root chakra can cause great insecurity irritability and obsession towards materialistic aspects uh, this is emotionally speaking, right? Now, psychologically speaking, what problems can affect the root chakra? We're gonna see that person having 
anxiety disorders, which are so common, right? The stress, restlessness, lack of energy, fatigue all the time, fear. Above all, fear of losing money or not having, right? Not having money. Panic attacks, worry, constant overthinking, depression, which is so common, nightmares, right? Because if we're worried all the time, we cannot sleep. So nightmares, emotional disconnection, body disconnect. Most emotional disconnection is when we feel that numbness. We, we don't want to feel our emotions and our feelings. We prefer hiding them, okay? Body disconnect is when you feel that I don't belong like in my body. There's a separation, okay? Resentment, anger, and rage, and rage. So what physical health problems can affect, can we see in a person that has an imbalanced root chakra? In men, for example, we can see prostate problems may occur, which are extremely common nowadays, right? And for all of us, constipation or problems in the colon, eating disorders like obesity and anorexia or bulimia, which are all also very common. Problems with our left, our left arm, okay? Our legs, our leg, our leg, our feet, our feet, our uh, feet, ish, feet issues like uh, inflammation, cramps, our legs, right? Problems with our knees, our knees, and our lower lower back pro problems that we you know are very common, anemia or bladder dysfunction, feeling lethargic or fatigued all the time and physically drained, right? Uh, very common also is to, uh, very common now nowadays, ADD, ADHD, right? Because we cannot focus. Sciatica problems, which a lot of people have. Uh, heart diseases, problems with the left ventricle specifically and related with blood oxygenation. Osteoporosis, muscular disorders. All these are diseases that we're gonna see reflected in a person that has a neglected, again, for many time, a large, a large period of time because the body gets tired of us not addressing it properly and relieving the emotions, right? Releasing the emotions and facing the emotions. So we get a disease for long periods of time of ignoring these lower frequencies in our bodies and not releasing them, the body generates a disease develops a disease, okay? So this is why it is so important. So healing, what can we do, okay? What can we do to help us better and balance uh, our root chakra? So healing exercises and therapies like yoga, asanas yoga, we can do movement meditation. And if you don't know how to meditate, again, or you don't know how to do, do yoga, you don't have to know. Because there's a lot of content in YouTube, free content in YouTube, that you enter meditation for the root chakra, 10 minute meditation or eight hour meditation because we can do while we are sleeping. We just put those videos there and the frequencies that they, they uh, that they have, the sounds they make, they are frequencies that help us work with our energetic body, okay? Meanwhile, we're sleeping because 
our energetic body does not, our spirit does not need to rest, okay? It does not rest. So our subconscious is receiving all this good vibration and it's helping us. Okay, so this is all free. Also, we can find, uh, we can practice Reiki, Tumo specifically. It's very good for the root chakra, Tai Chi, which, which I love. Uh, and also, something that you can start doing today is practicing grounding, grounding yourself, walking barefooted in on the ground, right? Making contact with Mother Earth. This is free, okay? Do it for 15, 10 minutes every day. Look for that contact, okay? Earthing. And if you can't do it because you live in a place that perhaps you can do it some months in the year and then the rest of your year you can't do it, as I said, because it's cold, it's freezing cold and you cannot do this, well, you know what? There are grounding mats that you can buy and you can use. And I use personally and I recommend this all the time to all the people that I coach and I help. Uh, you can you can buy on Amazon or on a youth on eBay, right? And grounding mats for your bed, and it's it's like a sheet, a sheet that measures. You can buy it for it comes made for any type, any any size, king size or queen size of your bed, whatever it is, or tween. Uh, and it, it measures about three feet and a half uh, wide and it goes connected to the grounding in the electric socket okay and you sleep with that and immediately as a better with less uh, less dress so that more contact with your with your body it has better yet but immediately you're gonna start seeing with the constant daily or nightly use of the grounding mat every sleeping there every night for a, at least a month and a half you're gonna start seeing how your sleepy sleep starts to regulate how it brings a lot, a lot of benefits to the human body, okay? Uh, because our root chakra is totally related to the feeling of grounding, of grounding. And uh, basically what's going on here is that uh, mankind always is working from its uh, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do, you know, we're always in that energy, in that masculine energy, do this, do that, do this, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this, oh, the, the do, to-do list, right? And what we're doing is that we need electrons in our body because that masculine energy is the positive energy, but we need the negative energy also, we need to balance that. So that's what grounding does. It is the negative charge in the electrons that it gives us, provides us with this energy, okay? So combined with specific fruits, foods, sorry, meditation will restore the function of the root chakra and subsequently treat the emotional and physical dysfunctions that we may have okay in this chakra in these areas so in meditation you don't have to be an expert as i say in meditation in order to receive the benefits there's a lot of videos that while you rest you can put a meditation for chakra for sleep meditation for for my root chakra and right there they're gonna pop up for you okay you may also combine trauma psychotherapy you can go to a psychologist but i recommend personally to go to a transcendental psychologist why because these are the ones that deal more with energy 
A clinical psychologist does not deal with your energetic body, okay? Uh, or you can go like to a coach like me, right? Energy coach and, and learn about your energetic body and how to better work with your energy, specific energy. Healing foods that we can eat that benefit the root chakra are foods colored in red like the apple and the beet spicy spices like cayenne red pepper and tabasco sauce okay but a uh, roots a uh, root vegetables vegetables from the ground like potatoes and carrots and here in puerto rico we have a lot we have a uh, yautia we have Yum, and we have a, a large variety of, of uh, root vegetables that you can add to your diet and will help you a lot, okay? Vegetable proteins like legumes, like avocado. Avocado is a great uh, protein vegetable. It, it's a fruit, truly it's a fruit, but it has vegetable proteins. It is high in vegetable proteins seeds like pumpkin seeds and and uh, and sunflower seeds also okay so legumes and a lot a lot there's a lot quinoa also kale uh, all these are vegetable proteins good for you the brussels sprouts also great so uh, what stones what stones can we use to help us balance and regain the balance of our root chakra and why stones well stones have a uh, quartz have specific minerals that are their atoms are vibrating continually that's all atoms cannot stop vibrating doesn't matter if they're a uh, solid or whatever right are in constant movement, they are alive. And uh, these stones help us specifically with certain chakras, like in specifically in case of the root chakra, we have the garnet, we can use the garnet, we can use the smoky quartz, we can use the obsidian, and we can use the black tourmaline to help us balance. And what we do is we lay down perhaps, and we place those stones in the areas, in the areas that we need where that chakra is, okay? In this case, as I told you, the, the, the root chakra is in right down there in the coccyx, okay? So we lay down and we place it there, and meanwhile, if we want to listen to uh, vibrations or meditations, well, we can do that also. All this helps, okay? It helps. It is all that we do. All these little steps combined that we take that bring, bring us wellness. And this is why it is so important, okay, to practice and start treating ourselves as the energy that we are and no longer uh, ignore this part because this part of us is our primary body, okay? We, and I also recommend for us to do affirmations, okay? Affirmations that help this chakra like, I am safe, I am grounded, I belong to this world, I have all I need, I am where I need to be. I trust the world, the universe. It provides me with all my needs. I fully trust Mother Earth, okay? I am abundant. All these are little things that we can do on a regular basis to help our true, our, our root chakra get well and receive that good and positive energy and as we incorporate all these little things that we can do we're going to start 
feeling better because not only as I say your body is going to start feeling better but your life around you the circumstances this the situations that are surrounding you right now are gonna leave so with this tonight I leave you and hoping that this information has been a lot of benefit for you asking you to please uh, give it a like and share it share it so that many other people uh, people can benefit from it it is so needed that we start we break those cycles of suffering that we see in the world suffering with diseases and with these is in our life okay sending you as always love and light and see you next week here in the mingles of evil life because we're gonna be speaking about our sacral chakra next week bye bye and thank you bye bye